Okay. Don't start for one second. So this is my 30th South by. Uh, this is my 59th year in music. This is the hardest thing I ever do. Ignite is wonderful, but me talking for only five minutes, as Brian Zisk will tell you, is the biggest challenge in my life. So, okay, we can go. So, how are you going to create a successful startup without suffering painful breakups? It happens with bands. It happens with startups. Uh, you jump into things, and you don't think about the basics. Um, okay. So, my career's had a weird path. I started out... Um, Basically, 14 years old, I was managing bands in Cleveland, and it was uh, it led to getting a job with Columbia Records, then Warner, and I got in trouble for basically hanging out with the artists too much. So they took my bad behavior and they moved me into artist development, and I it became apparent that I could work well with baby bands. And so my baby bands during my time at Warner were Prince, Van Halen, Fleetwood Mac, Talking Heads, Pretenders, the Sex Pistols, that's me. That says this sure ain't the Beach Boys tour. That was the night after Sid hit me in the face with his bass by accident trying to kill someone else in the audience. Uh, there's still a warrant out for me in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, my career pivoted in Chicago in 1977. I was at the Drake Hotel. I have these serendipitous moments where I meet somebody because I turn left instead of right. I met these two guys that look like homeless guys, uh, Jobs and Wozniak. They had just started Apple. They got me into thinking about technology. I started hanging out with the Atari folks at Warner, and I mean Warner Communications, and ended up running MediaNet, which is I think where Brady and I met originally and prognosticated about the future of media. We'll get into that later. Startup is a band, okay? When you put a startup together, you have, an, you have a crew of people that make up the thing. This was the first band I ever hung out with. Uh, they've done well. These, these guys, a band is a startup. Steve Jobs was the lead singer at Apple, but I would say respectfully that Steve Wozniak wrote most of the songs, at least at the beginning. I'm being metaphoric, if I don't mean literally. But so your CEO is your lead singer, your CTO, your COO is your lead guitarist. Everybody is valuable. Don't assume if you are Harry Styles that you still don't need people around you to help make you great. Um, it's really important. You need to balance the roles and you need to recognize what everybody's contributing. You need to improv and collaborate. It's If you run it as an autocracy, it's not going to turn out very well. Did I run out of thing? So, by the way, your VC, if you're in, how many of you are startups? How many of you are artists? Your VC is your record label. Don't let them tell you what to do, whether it's your label or your VC. Push back. If you have a sense of who you are, don't let them try and push you into things. Recognize, again, recognize everybody's contributions. The, uh, Michael Anthony from Van Halen was convinced that he should give all his publishing back to the band because he didn't actually write the song. It was a stupid move. Uh, but he contributed a lot. If you're a fan of Van Halen, Michael Anthony was a big part of it. You need to collaborate, not dominate, but stay on mission. Somebody has to be the mission keeper, the Bible, but you've got to work together. There are growing pains. As new people come into a company or into the band, you had Talking Heads was four, uh, three people when I first met them. Jerry joined, the, Jerry Harrison joined. Four years later, there were 15 people on stage. Oh, by the way, Yoko. Stay away from Yoko Ono. There is a Yoko Ono in every company and in every band uh, that is whispering. In, and in the case of Van Halen, it was Valerie Bertinelli. We still fight about it. I'm going to keep going here. Um, Valerie was whispering in it. He's here every day. You don't need David Lee Roth. Your partners during the day or your partners, your partner at night, whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, you got to respect what, you know, the role they're playing in your life. But they have to understand it's not a nine to five job. What we do is 24 seven. There is never a, you know, it's Friday night at six o'clock. I think I'm going to stop working. So the honey, yes, I thought I'd be home for Jimmy's, you know, concert recital. I'm not going to be there, but we just got $10 million from a VC. Never say never. We're never going to sell our company. We're never going to, you know, whatever, whatever those nevers are, the nevers are, we don't want to right now. We may do it. And like I'm going to do, take a deep breath. 
everything works out. I mean, I've been around people the last few days who are going, oh my God, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. It all works out. The universe, a combination of your skill and the universe will get you there. Lone and Navarro, who knows who they are? Some people do. They broke up years ago after being together for about 10 years. This is where I'm going to go a couple seconds over. They broke up. They hadn't talked for six months. Eric Lowen, who passed away a few years ago, calls Dan Navarro and says, you've got to come over. we got to fix this. Dan goes, no, 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 no. Finally, he agrees to come over. They sit over at Eric's living room for two hours. They kiss and make up. And then they sit there in the next hour and wrote a song called We Belong that Pat Benatar recorded. Sold 10 million singles and whatever. It basically uh, jump-started their career again. They went on to stay together until Eric died. And so, you know, whatever your differences are, if you stay together and, and work it out, things will happen. I have to say, really, can I have five, five more seconds? I'm done. Everything I've heard here, I mean, the people that you put together here, the attention economy, the you've got to be, you've got to be in front of people, uh, what uh, you were talking about, boy bands, everything that I'm hearing here, this is such valuable information. Five minutes for me is the worst thing ever. Talk to you later. 